What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fairs. Now, I swear at least twice in the last two or three videos, I said that everything about the upcoming Phase 5 and 6 slate that we just saw is subject to change. Even the release dates next year, I wouldn't be surprised if there's not at least one or two tweaks because that's just been par for the course with Marvel, especially post-pandemic. We have a ton of updates, however, for Marvel movies on both sides of the fence, Sony moving their entire Craven slash Madam Web slate, and of course, this has to do in response to what's going on with Disney moving around one of their films. We also have an update for a second season of another Disney Plus project and when Shang-Chi is now slated to lead directly into Kang Dynasty. I have a ton to say about all the movement that's been going on. We'll fill you in on all the brand new dates and talk a little bit about what this means now for Shang-Chi 2 as it'll be the direct lead-in into Avengers Kang Dynasty and what this means for Destin Daniel Cretton over the next 24 months. We're breaking it all down, the brand new dates for Marvel and Disney releases over the next two years but first if you could grab the subscribe button we do daily marvel content at the channel that's all we do everything from official easter eggs breakdowns trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider scoop or like we're covering today's slate reveals and everything in between so if that sort of things for you hit the sub button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there and if you missed the latest winner announcement we did that in the previous video on deadpool i'll make sure to link that at the end of this okay so of all the dates we're about to cover, which have basically been breaking in the last day and a half or so, this was recently reported by Deadline in the last three hours on Saturday afternoon. So all of this confirmed except for the Shang-Chi date, which we're going to get to in just a second. It actually starts on the Sony side, where they've now moved Craven the Hunter into the slot that used to be occupied by Madam Web, and they've moved Madam Web now later as well. Craven the Hunter that was slated to originally come out on January 13th of next year is pushed all the way back until October 6th of 2023 and of course that was the original date that Madam Web was slated to come out so they've pushed that back to the next year on February 16th 2024. Sony moving both of these films though to those dates is in response to what Marvel and Disney did. They originally had a film slated for February 16th 2024 and to be clear this is confirmed they've now officially moved that film to September 6th, 2024. Now, don't panic just yet. It's still unclear whether we'll get three or four films that year. Also remember, Fantastic Four slated for late 2024, so this film may play into that. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. But basically, Marvel and Disney freeing up that spot on the slate is what led to Sony sliding their films over. Also remember, Sony slate primarily always focuses and rotates around a Spider-Man 4 film, which we anticipate will fall into place very soon, and that's why you're starting to see all these dominant is moving now. Now moving away from Sony back over to Disney and Marvel and moving this film so close to the Fantastic Four, it's been heavily rumored and reported across the industry in the last 24 hours that Shang-Chi 2 is still slated to come out, but now will be coming out in the February 14th, 2025 official release date that Marvel has up. They just haven't slated it yet. And this film is rumored to be called Shang-Chi in the Wreckage of Time. Now this would come slated right between Fantastic Four in late 2024 and Avengers King Dynasty in 2025. You also have them now moving a film to right before Fantastic Four. Basically, they're setting this up for these films to be written as a group and shot concurrently. Destin Daniel Cretton, who will be directing Shang-Chi 2 and Avengers King Dynasty, would arguably have two of the biggest Marvel films going back to back and released in less than six months, which means he's going to be doing double duty, shooting these films at the same time, using the blueprint they did with Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, overlapping as much as they can. And the real reason you need to do this all together as a big, solid project is because the the writing all needs to work together. You can't have different directors, different minds, different cooks in the kitchen, so to speak, on both the scripts and the stories, and then hope that they're going to have any sort of cohesive nature if they're leading into one major thing. I have a suspicion, like I said, that they're going to use the end of the Infinity Saga as a blueprint where they had Marcus and McFeely writing a ton of the projects and scripts, so they basically had a bird's eye view on the entire through line. Jeff Loveness has just been confirmed to now have written Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and go on to write. Avengers King Dynasty. I would not be surprised to see him involved with the script for Shang-Chi 2 and maybe even that September 15th film and as well as the Fantastic Four script as this all goes forward because you need the same
same limited number of people understanding where all the characters are. Also, that confirmation of Jeff Loveness probably comes on the heels of how well he directed Kang and wrote the story of Kang during Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, as we now know it's going to feature around that villain, and if he did a good job with him, he's going to want to continue to write his narrative and through line. So I suspect, again, Jeff Loveness will be picking up other projects and scripts, and we're really starting to see now the wheels turn, Marvel putting this all together as they have their eye on the prize, what is the end of the multiverse saga, and back-to-back -back Avengers films. I probably sound like I'm repeating myself just a little bit, but I want to go on record as saying I do not think Avengers 5 and 6 are going to come out in the same year. Hot take, I know. I just don't see it happening, especially with how many things have moved before, and that's okay. I can easily see them pulling an Infinity War and Endgame, where they end up pushing Avengers 6 from November of that year to January of the following year. It's just going to be so many huge movies back to back to back to back. It's almost impossible to think about, but hey, who better than Marvel Studios who has this down? Guys, hopefully we will find out more about the director on Secret Wars, what's going on there. I suspect updates on that, Spider-Man 4 all around the corner and coming up very, very soon again as these dominoes start to fall. But let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you have any hype at all for Kraven the Hunter and Madam Web? I know we very seldom talk about them at the channel, but basically when it comes to Sony projects, I'm just in a holding pattern where I'm going to give each project its own evaluation upon first looks, which we've gotten neither for those films. When it comes to moves for the slate over the next year or two, guys, don't panic in relation to that. It's just par for the course at this point, and no movie studio has ever had to juggle this many blockbusters concurrently that all play into each other. It's basically them pioneering new ground every next year that they get through it. So expect more moves. Do not panic as it relates to the slate. Let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away PlayStation 5s all the way up to a million. The next milestone is actually a million subscribers, and we will announce a brand new giveaway this week for the middle milestone of 990. Uh, if you guys want to be entered to win, or if you want to help me achieve my lifelong dream of hitting a million subscribers, which sounds absolutely insane to say, like, uh, for real, Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Um, that automatically enters you to win. Also, I would just say sincerely, if you are still listening in the seven minute mark, look, there are channels I have watched on YouTube for years and not hit the sub button, and I really didn't even realize it until I've been looking at my analytics, which tell me some of you guys have watched 20, 50, even 100 videos of mine uh, and still haven't subbed, which totally cool. Maybe you don't subscribe, maybe that's your thing, whatever. Um, this is just an appeal uh, to your 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 kinder human nature i am so close to a million subscribers if you're one of those people who's been rocking with me for a while and likes to consume my content casually or whatever awesome if you wouldn't mind hitting the sub button if you haven't yet i would sincerely appreciate it i mean it enters you for the giveaways but also you're just helping me hit a million which sounds again insane to say but i'm almost there so uh, just an, a nice ask for you to do that. But no worries if you don't. It's all good. Hit the like button. But again, no worries if you don't. It's cool. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right. I love you guys. Peace.